Hey folks, Herb here. This lesson is how to identify which products are active and available for all uses. And we will find that in the Mara table. So let's begin. I had some inventory here that I downloaded earlier for a different lesson. Um, you can get your inventory from wherever you, you, you like. You just need the numbers for the DU. So here we just have some bunch of inventory um, and you know, in no particular order. And I'm just going to this yellow section here I used for an earlier example. And, and as I said, it doesn't really matter, right? What you can use here. So let's just make these in, uh, in orange um, just for the heck of it, right? Uh, as I said earlier, you know, when you download uh, stuff from SAP, it doesn't automatically come back in number format. Now, for the Mara table, you, it wouldn't really matter. But when you're using SAP uh, and, and using Excel to extract data, um, it's always a good idea. It's just a good habit to get into to change these to numbers. Now, if you have one or two or three or five, now yeah, it's easy just to click this and convert to number. Boom, you're done. I'm going to show you something else real quick because if you have a huge data list, you know, thousand items in Excel and you want to convert them to number, if you do it like this and then convert it to number, it'll work, but it will take forever. So one trick, there's a few ways to do this, but one of them is this, right? So put, <clears throat> excuse me, just type in a number one, doesn't matter where, any cell, doesn't matter. You're going to copy the number one, and then you're going to highlight whatever data you want. Instead of hitting this box here, you're going to right click, uh, and you're going to paste special. Okay? So now when you do this, this pop-up is going to come up. And for, for this particular method, you're going to hit multiply. It's going to multiply everything by one. Hit OK. And you have the same result. Now, these are numbers as well. Okay, so let's just grab these. Right? Copy. We're going to minimize this because we're done here. Um, you're going to go into the Mara table. Now, again, if you've seen some of my lessons, some of this is going to be repetitive um, because I just don't know which lesson you're going to click on. So the general table display is the Z0 SWT. 0039 right here uh, and, and I have my favorites uh, and there it is the Mara table and as I've mentioned in the past when I have favorites uh, I, I keep a small description it won't let you write a book you can only have a, uh, I think it's 40 characters but don't hold me to that um, make a quick note to yourself and what it's used for again it helps me you certainly don't have to uh, and then of course you can just type it in up here uh, no, nope, we can't do that. Sorry, that's my mistake. See, as we do these videos, we learn and we make mistakes, right? So no, you would actually type in this general table display, uh, the Z0SWT0039. <clears throat> now, I would normally just click on my little favorite down there, but I just want to show you how to do it this way. So, Mara, uh, and it doesn't have to be capital. Uh, it could be small caps. Uh, we're going to get rid of this maximum number of hits and a couple ways to execute this uh, but i'm just going to go here and i'm just going to click on that now this blank uh, not blank but the, this here with, without the green and you can see here when you click on it what it's going to do uh, deselect all right see that okay or select them all now i hit deselect all because there's only a couple things we're going to need here we have our material. I still have them copied in Excel. I haven't done anything else in Excel, so it's still sitting there copied, waiting for me to use. <clears throat> now, if you have one, you can just paste it in here, no problem. But again, as a general rule, just to get in the habit of things, I always go to the yellow arrow, uh, especially when there's multiple items. Uh, now, you have it copied in Excel. You don't need to recopy it. You're going to hit this here, and you're going to paste your values in. Right. like that so your values are here 
you're going to, again, some people call it clocking it. I call it executing it. And if you hover over it, it calls transfer data. You're just going to hit go or call it go. Um, make sure you click on that or SAP isn't going to do anything because it doesn't know what you're asking. Now, for this exercise of seeing if items are active, Mara does a lot of things. And here's a trick. And it basically works in Excel just like it does in, in SAP. So you hit Control F, you want to find it. And I, it's, I know what to look for because I know. It makes, makes it a little you know, easier. Um, but if I hit XD, for example, and I'm going to execute it, it'll give me everything back within this list that begins with an X in the front or at least it should have and it didn't so we're going to try that again and this is how you learn even when you know what you're looking for you learn by XD chain I believe it's called well, let's spell it correctly, it'll go. Or just, just do XD. Right, and it should pop up here. And there we go. Okay. So, again, it's, it's okay to make a mistake like we're doing now. This just helps you learn. And you want both of these Xs. You want the X plant status and the XD chain status. You have your DO clicked. You can also create a, a custom layout for this. We'll probably get into something, some of those at a later lesson. But for, for this exercise, we're done. We have your DU in there. You have your, your, your plant status and your distribution. Same thing here. Click it, execute it, clock it, whatever term you like. And these are your results. Now, and this is exactly the result you're looking for here. It's the 60-20 combination, we call it, uh, active and ready for all uses. And, and so if you click here, right, it'll actually tell you what it is it means. And I'm just going to drag this over ever so slightly. Oh, I can't even, it won't even let me do that. Yes, it will. So 60 is ready for all uses. So if you had a combination coming up that said 90, uh, but something else on the other side, well, you know 90 is discontinued, so that's out. Now on this side here, let me X this out. And the things are a little slower, probably because I'm recording and I have a bunch of things open. But same thing. You have a little drop down. It's going to bring up the window. And I'm just going to slide it over here a little bit so we can see it better. And this is the other thing I was referring to, active. So your 60-20 combination is what you want to have. You can have a 60-32, for example. It has to line up. And if it's 32, it's discontinued that's out uh, and you see all your options here so we have the 60 20 uh, for these perfect and for now you're going to export it to a spreadsheet and at this point you can put it on your desktop or within another folder name it what you want you obviously just need to find it again when you need to. I'm not going to save this because I, I don't need this. I'm going to cancel it. Um, and, and that's it. And that will give you your list uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, of active uh, and, and, and ready for all uses to use. Hope it was helpful. We'll continue expanding on these lessons. I'm going to try to remember as best as I can that you might be uh, clicking on a lesson and sometimes the background runs through my head as well, oh, well, you know, do this. And, you know, I'm assuming these lessons tie together and they don't. And I'm rambling, so I apologize. That's it. Hope you learned something. Reach out if you have questions. Thanks.